Uh, you know, if, if we put all of you guys to work, we could just get behind my bus, we're just part way up the mountain, you guys could just help me push it up, I'm sure we could get there. You know, there are kids on the mountain who are just waiting for City Kids, a program just like City Kids, to come and knock on their door every week, pick them up every Saturday morning on a big red bus. But my bus broke down. What's that? I know, it's not a real mountain, it's okay. It's a little Hamilton thing. Because I just could come up with uh, a way to fix my bus. What's that? Ladies and gentlemen, that's a sound I know very well. Coming from the back of the room, a City Kids superhero. Give it up for Super Dude. Listen, I was oh. driving up the mountain, yep. and you wouldn't believe it, uh -huh. my bus broke down. Oh, boy. Well, let's take a look here. Uh, hmm. yeah, take a look under the hood. You, you, well, you've got a few things under the hood here, Todd. I mean, I don't even know what that is. Todd. Well, oh. Don't ask about that. That was an amazing <laughs> Saturday morning, Todd. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't even know how this fit under there. It's the kids. Oh. Yeah. Ah! Aha! I found it. It appears your problem is this old cassette tape labeled one top bedroom? No, no, no. It's lodged in the engine. I've been looking for that. It's my best of ABBA tape. Oh, <laughs> Hit it, DJ. <laughs> John, this is just, John, this is embarrassing. John. Nobody wants to see you dance, Todd. That's true. No. Nobody wants to see Todd dance, am I right? Okay. Yeah. But now that we've got that cassette tape, you know, free from the engine, give it a try. All right. Back the engine. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's out of gas. Yeah, keep trying. I'm pretty sure it's, it's out of gas. Okay, hold on. Todd, I know what your problem is. What's the problem, Super Dude? Todd? You're out of gas. <laughs> Honestly. No need to thank me. Just doing my job. A real superhero, folks. A real superhero. Listen, since you're a superhero, why don't you fly to a gas station and get me some gas? Todd, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It's not that easy. You know, these buses are more complex than that. Do you have the owner's manual? The owner's, yes. You mean the uh, big red bus? Owner's manual. Perfect. I happen to have it right here. Perfect. Let's have a look here. Flip to page three of chapter four. It says, uh, aha! Apparently, these buses run on a special grade of fuel. What, what kind of special grade? Well, it says <laughs> CS. CS. What's CS? Why, child sponsorships, of course! It's absolutely key to be able to bring the sustainable resources so we can continue with the commitment we've made to the children that are already part of Sinkins, but also to continue moving forward to reaching those children that have yet to have the opportunity to have the Sinkins experience. Each child gets on that bus every week. We know through child sponsorship that we can transport them, that we can feed them, that we can be consistently bringing them to the program every week. One of the really interesting things about the funding that we get uh, for City Kids, compared to a lot of different organizations out there, is that we don't rely on government support. And we choose that because we want to have the control over the funding and over the impact of our children. Because we give that over to the government and they can cut a program like that and then our kids are disappointed again. And our kids are disappointed every day of their lives and City Kids is not going to be a disappointment to those children. So as someone who sees these children every week getting off the bus, um, child sponsorship, I know in my heart that every child that comes off that bus, there's actually somebody walking with them. Maybe not physically, but there's somebody behind them that's supporting them, that's guiding them and directing them. They don't even know it. But that's the type of sustainability that we need. That every child that we reach in Hamilton, that every child we put on the bus that walks in this theater, that there's somebody with them. 
one-on-one, -on -one, because that's what we're all about. We're about the one. Child sponsorship allows a child to receive a personal home visit every single week, so a relationship's built. It allows the child to receive the safe bus transportation to and from their home, and it allows them to attend and participate in the Saturday program absolutely for free, and it also allows them the snacks and the food so they can get the message that's being presented on stage. that as we put our hands to the word, as we visit door to door, as we put each child on the bus, I believe that we are making a difference. I believe that kids are realizing that they can't dream big dreams. I believe that those kids are building their resilience. I believe that, that, that they realize that they've been born with a plan and a purpose for their life, that they can do great things. You know, studies have shown that great people in this world that have achieved greatness come from adversity. So I believe that every one of those children, everyone without a shadow of a doubt, that they can do great things.